this is Zach with Alaska Guide Creations and in this video we're going to go through how to adjust the fitting of the Cobook backpack to you. So when you get your backpack and you want to make the adjustments to make it make it fit you just right, uh, first thing you're going to want to do is start with the belt. So personally for me, um, my waist is 28, 29 inches and so I'm going to have, I'm going to open the lumbar pad and then I'm, for me, I'm going to have the belt almost touching in the middle. So you can adjust, you can adjust that up and down, uh, side to side. Uh, you do want to make sure that this, the level of the top of the belt is consistent side to side. And for me, I'm going to want to make them, uh, equal in the middle and almost touching for my waist. All right, once you have that done, you're gonna to move to the lumbar pad. Uh, this is adjustable up and down. Um, personally, I like my lumbar pad a little bit lower. Some guys like it, like it a little higher. Uh, I'm gonna have the bottom of my lumbar pad about even with the bottom of the frame. Now we'll go to the, the adjustment of the shoulder straps. Uh, first thing you want to do there is make sure every, everything's all loosened up to where you have plenty of, plenty of play um, to make those adjustments. You can even take, take the load lifter straps and completely undo them. It'll give you uh, the most flexibility in making your adjustments. So right at the top of the shoulder straps, there's a, a ladder lock Siamese clip. Uh, allow it to get some some slack you can then take the bottom wing or the bottom tail excuse me of of the shoulder strap pull it up now this is pretty tight and, and that's on purpose so you just want to run your hands underneath and then you can adjust vertically and a little bit of uh, horizontal adjustment as well if you like the shoulder straps to ride a little wider or a little closer together. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna move mine down just a bit where I'm a little bit of a shorter guy. And then we'll run the tail down under the lumbar pad. Do the same thing on this side. Open the Siamese or relax the Siamese. And you'll want to, the most important thing here is you want to make sure that the bottom of the shoulder straps, each side are, are equal to make sure it's right and level as far as pressure goes on your back, especially when you're loaded. All right, so. Got that adjustment made there. Now I'm gonna to come to the top where the strap goes to the Siamese. I'm gonna suck that tight. And that ensures that you won't have any slop or wiggle uh, once, once you're operational. Any slack you have in that, you can run into the webbing guides that are on the top of the shoulder straps. Now we're going to reattach our load lifting straps. And if you did need to detach the other side, you would do that at that time. Now, the last adjustment is here on the top of the shoulder strap or shoulder harness where you have your webbing guide. Uh, the further up you adjust the shoulder harness vertically, like if you have a longer torso, you're going to want to move this contact point further up the webbing guide. Uh, ideally, this point of contact is going to make make contact with your body at about your shoulder or about your collarbone. Uh, some guys like it a little higher, some guys like it a little lower, but ideally for the most comfortable ride, you're going to want that point of contact to be right about your collarbone. So for me, that's going to mean 
coming into this last last contact point. If you're uh, uh, shorter than I am, you can even skip the webbing guys altogether and come down to this tack. If you're taller than I am, you're probably, or have a longer torso than I am, you're probably gonna be working your way up through these guides as you as you rotated the harness forward. So now that, now that we've got all the adjustments made, we wanna just make sure everything's cinched down. So you wanna you want to check your load lifters, or I mean your, your Siamese clip at the top. You want to leave your load lifters a little slack at first to ensure that you uh, you put it on without, without tension. On the hip belt, you want to come in to the, on both sides, there's a three bar slider that you want to suck tight. And then I like to run it back through itself through the forward slot to ensure that there's not gonna be any slack coming undone while I'm, while I'm loaded or while I'm hiking. Again, you want to start with the belt. Come in, suck it up even on both sides. Belt's nice and snug. Now I'm going to go to my shoulder harness. I'm going to pull the tension down. And ideally what you want here is you want to have a slight gap at the top of your shoulder. Uh, you don't want to be all the way pressed down on your shoulder before you're loaded or you're not going to have anywhere for that, that load to rest down on you. You want, you want a slight air gap. You don't want a huge gap, but you don't want to press it all the way down on your shoulder right to start with. So once we've made that adjustment, uh, you can make, you can adjust this to, to the location you would prefer this to ride. If you get too deep, you're going to want, you're going to end up rubbing in on your arms. And if you're too high, you're going to have that webbing into you. So you really want to have that about your nipple line. Once you're there, you can come to the load lifters. And when you pull the load lifters down, the pack will hug your back and you can really see how that the top of that frame having that flexibility contours to your shoulders and allows you to hug that load extra tight. If you have any questions when you go to fit your Cobra backpack to yourself, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email and we'll be happy to help.